If you're trading sleep for productivity, I've got news for you. That's a terrible deal. Today, we are exploring why quality sleep isn't just a nice to have, it's your brain's non-negotiable maintenance time. And if you're thinking, I'll sleep when I'm dead, well, awesome, because that day might actually come a bit sooner than you think if you keep skimping on your precious sets. Hi, I'm Danielle Colley, and I'm here to help you to create a life that actually feels good to live. I worked one-on-one -on -one in my coaching practice with Susie. Susie struggled with a classic pattern, staying up late to binge watch shows after her son went to bed because it felt like the only me time. But this habit was costing her more than she realized. Dr. Matthew Walker, neuroscientist and author of Why We Sleep, explains that sleep isn't just rest, it's active recovery. During sleep, your brain consolidates memories and learning, clears toxins and metabolic waste out, processes your emotions and stress from the day, and rebalances your hormones, the ones that control appetite and mood, right? Research shows that just one night of poor sleep can also reduce your cognitive performance by up to 40%. That's like showing up to work legally intoxicated. Not the productivity hack that many of you are seeking a life coach for, right? But there is a dangerous myth in our culture that successful people sleep less. We've all heard those stories about CEOs who only need four hours of sleep, but here's what the science actually shows us. Studies published by the National Institute of Health suggest that less than 1% of the population have the genetic mutation that allows them to function on less sleep. For the rest of us, sleeping less means performing worse, period. In fact, a Harvard Business Review study found that lack of sleep cost American companies $63.2 billion in lost productivity annually. And that's because sleep deprived people make more mistakes. They have poor judgment, they're less creative they experience more conflicts, right? Tired people are cranky. You also take more sick days. Even more concerning, Dr. Bruce, known as the sleep doctor, explains that when you're sleep deprived, your hunger hormones go haywire. Ghrelin, which makes you hungry, increases, while leptin, which signals fullness, decreases. That's why poor sleep often leads to weight gain and energy crashes, right? We get the, we have snack accidents all the time. The good news is that improving your sleep doesn't necessarily mean sleeping for longer. It means sleeping smarter. And here are the most impactful changes that you can make, right? Easy, light management. Light is the primary controller of your circadian rhythm. So getting some morning light within 30 minutes of waking and reducing the blue light from screens for one to two hours before bed. Have, a, have yourself a nice, consistent schedule. Your brain loves routine. Get up at the same time, go to bed at the same time, even on weekends. Temperature, your body needs to cool down to initiate sleep, right? So your optimal bedroom temperature is like 18 to 20 degrees. And make sure that your bedroom is a sanctuary. It's dark, it's quiet, it's free from work materials. Your brain needs like to be clear from all of those associations for deep, restful sleep. In our next video, we'll explore the most powerful yet overlooked aspect of rest, making it non-negotiable. We'll discover how to elevate rest from nice to have to must have in your life and in your calendar. Sleep isn't lazy, it's your brain's essential maintenance mode. I invite you to think about your phone for a minute. You know that feeling of panic that you get when you see the batteries running out and you're out and about, you're like, oh my God, how am I gonna charge it, right? You start thinking about energy saving on your phone, wondering when you can get to a charger as soon as you can, right? That you get, you start to feel panicked. Now imagine that the phone is actually your brain and body and it's running out of battery, but you're just ignoring it. So be your own friend and prioritize this fundamental form of rest, your health, happiness and performance depend on it.